Hello everyone, this is Sinful Gaming and this is the first video in my tutorial series on Gmod. Um, for this first video I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a Gmod server um, hosted locally on your own PC. Now for this you've got to keep in mind you do need a good internet connection otherwise literally anyone that tries to join you will have either terrible lag or just won't be able to join at all. So what I'm going to be showing you in this series is literally every little thing that I possibly know from first starting to uh, set up the server so having to go and download all the all the right software and all this kind of stuff setting up all your proxies all this kind of blah 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 doing things from that from installing game modes such as dark rp making your own zombie rp server i'm going to also be showing you a small dev diary from me making my own um uh, game modes and stuff like that i'm going to also be showing you how to code certain things, anything that I know will literally be given to you guys as I can give them myself. Okay, so firstly we're going to start making our own server. For this you're going to need um, two, well one program, Steam CMD or Steam Pipe or whatever it wants to be called. Okay, now I've already got this but for the purposes of the video I'll re-download it again. So Steam if you want to just Google Steam CMD, go over to your first pretty little part, downloading, and just click on install for Windows. Here it is. So it comes in a zip file. All you got to do is take this and extract it to somewhere on your computer. So for me, I made a folder called Gmod Tools and here it is. So for the purposes of this I will literally start from scratch with all you guys. So I have now taken Steam CMD and put it into this Gmod Tools folder. Double click CMD and what I'll do is it will just check for an update for the actual software itself. Now what this is going to do is this is the software which will install Gmod and all the stuff you need to actually make a uh, your own server. Um, now it does take a little bit of time, but once it goes, it does you know get moving. So what I'm going to do is through these parts. I'm just going to cut it out, and I'll um, I'll hit you back up when they finished. Oh hi there, okay so we're back and we've finished doing the update as you can see it's now ready for our input and what you can see as well of everything we need to get moving. Okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to type in login anonymous anonymous, there we go and press enter. Now what it'll do is it'll obviously connect to the Steam servers there we go, all done. And now what we'll type in, okay, for this next part, now what you're going to need is you're going to need to find a place on your hard drive. Uh, for this I recommend going into your local disk and creating a new folder. So a new folder called Gmod. So you have now this new folder just directly in your local disk called Gmod. Okay, so now all you're going to do is type in Force underscroll install underscroll uh, d so dir space c shit colon forward slash gmod. Now what I'll do is I'll tell you where whatever you decide to install will be put into this folder here. Okay, now what we're going to type in is app underscore update 420 validate. Now what this is doing is it's going to install Gary's mod, which is this here, 420. 
Um, now the reason why it's 4020 is because that is the up that is the ID for the game. Now every source game has their own little ID, so from Left 4 Dead to Counter Strike to Global Offensive, everything has its own little ID. This is the ID for Gary's mod. Now what we're gonna do is once we've done that, it's gonna validate it and make sure everything's okay. So now you just gonna press enter. And this one will take quite a while. Because there's obviously quite a lot to install when it comes to doing the server. So, once again, I'm just going to cut out and then I will hit you guys back up when we start. Okay, well, that took about half an hour. So, I did say it was going to take quite a while. Let me just check my, my uh, volume here. Yeah, I'm fine. Sorry about that. Okay, so here we have now, uh, app is fully installed, it's been validated, blah de blah blah So now if you go in a Gmod folder, I'm going to put my phone on silent because people are taking the piss. Uh, if you go in a Gmod folder, we now have our SRCDS, we have all of our Gary's mod, we have the source engine, everything is here. Okay. So now we can get away from the CMD because we no longer need CMD. However, if we do want to update, so if if you ever like need to update the um, the client, all you need to do is just start. Literally, just start up the Steam CMD and it'll check for available updates. That's all you need to do. Okay. Now what we need is a watchdog. A watchdog is basically what we're going to have to actually start up the server. <clears throat> okay, so if we go to Google, type in um, CR, can't remember what it was, CRDCS, I cannot remember for the life of me what it was. There it is, SRCDS. There we go. Sorry about that. Okay. Now all we need is this part by here. So this little command. And what we're going to do is... So we're going to copy that command we just took there. Open a new text document. Call it start.bat. Edit it and paste in this code. Okay. So, what we're going to do is start, wait, SRZDS, console game. Game is Gary's mod. So, we're going to change the game from Counter to Gary's mod. Map for the time being will be GM underscore construct. Max players can stay as it is, or, you know, 64, whatever, up to you. For the time being, we'll keep it as it is, and save. Let's just get rid of that. And save. And this is pretty much it. This is all we really need. No, it's not actually. I tell a lie. If I just remember where I am. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, okay. Gary's mod server CFG. Okay, so you type in server CFG to get this. Right, the Arcan password. So, just this is basically just for like the almighty overlord. So, this is going to be give you all your little information regarding your server. So, the Arcan password will be muffins. Um, because I am in the UK, uh, I put my region as Europe, but usually people just keep it to not Africa worldwide. Um, this can all be changed as it is. I'm going to be hoping to make a dark RP server, so I'm going to get rid of any kind of ragdolls. Actually, I'll keep ragdolls for admins. Um, none of this you really need to worry about for the time being, as this is just going to be a normal, uh, Gary's mod server. However, I'm just doing this for 
late uh, videos. Okay, and yep, this is pretty much done. Uh, the host names, this is your server name. So for this, we're going to do something like SRP my badass gmod server server password this is just so people can get onto the server um, leave it empty for none or up to you generate select all of this copy it take it into service cfg and paste and save there we go well now we should all be done so all we need to do now is double click start bat which opens up the CR the CRCDS SRCDS watchdog and our source dedicated server. This is our console for the server itself. So whilst you're running the server, do not close these two or else the server will stop responding. VHC secure mode is activated. This is the last line which should pop up now, meaning that your server is ready. So let's give it a try. Okay, find multiplayer game. And if we go over to our ref uh, local network, Sandbox, and here it is here, my badass Gmod server, GM Construct, 16 players. So, let's go ahead and try and join it. Now, there shouldn't be any add-ons or anything to download, because we've checked them all by here. If you look, there is no add-ons there. Um, as well as that, client SRP since demon has connected, sending client info, we are all good. And now, hopefully, we should be able to jump in, and I can show you guys... Yep, and here we are. In game with blah de blah de blah. <clears throat> now then, keep in mind this is the pure basics of starting up a server. So I will tell you now, the only way you're gonna get people on this server is if they're on the same IP as you. Now you might be able to do this with Hamachi, I have not tried it yet, but as for an actual the way the servers run, you will not be able to get anyone else on this server. Um, to do this, you need to know how to for, uh, port forward, which I'll be showing you guys in a future video. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much it. This is all you need to know to actually start up, to do the beginning of starting up your own Gmod server. Uh, for more videos and more tutorials on how to do Gmod stuff, please subscribe and I will see you guys later. Thank you for watching. Bye!